I'll introduce myself. I'm Andrew Cook. We need, as a real estate industry, to get our tenants back into the office. And the reason we need them back into the office is obviously because there are leases in place and it's a revenue stream for the real estate. But I think more importantly, because we understand that our tenants have been working from home, how do we effectively compete in the office space for those tenants to come back? And I think the point of differentiation for those tenants will be, what is better for me when I get into the office versus eliminating my commute when I'm working from home and having the opportunity to balance work life a little bit better? So we have to create an experience in the offices for tenants to want a desire to come back into the office and say, I need to come back because I need the co company culture, I need the mentoring, I need the association and collaboration with my peers, and I need to enjoy coming into the office because I'm sacrificing something for coming into the office. What, what are the keys to return to office? Firstly, I think certainly it's acknowledgement of flexibility acknowledging and meaning companies acknowledging flexibility, companies acknowledging that the workforce that have been working from home for the past 18 months, that we have to afford our employees some measure of flexibility, even in the real estate industry. Because it's more than flexibility in terms of can I work from home or can I work in the office, it's really giving empowering or, or, or most valued associates to be able to ensure that they feel like they're valued and that they're, they're issues are being heard because there's mental health, there's wellness, there's safety, there, there, there are a lot of emotions wrapped into coming into the office today. It's a commute into the office, it's spending time in the office, and I think really companies and, and, and organizations need to understand that the, the American worker today needs some measure of flexibility, and I think each company is going to define what flexibility means, but we're in a new normal, and that is the new normal. Prop tech, technology in offices is a critical piece of the return to office. I think the past 18 months have proven to us that as a real estate industry, we can no longer be technophobic. We have to embrace technology for two key reasons. One, we as owners and landlords, developers and investors need to have data and become more data driven so we can have a commercial focus on the real estate, understanding what's impacting the real estate, what's impacting occupancy, what are the trends, and then with that data, we can make smarter, better business decisions. I think the other piece of PropTech is, is clearly, you know, as we talk about the hotelification of the office and we talk about the consumerization of the office, the Gen Z coming into the workplace right on the heels of the millennials all operate on their mobile devices. If you can order food on your phone, you can order transportation on your phone, they're going to expect those same amenities when they come into the workforce. And so we, as a real estate industry, need to be focused on that, not only because it is an expected amenity, but because there's also a revenue generation potential for us as well.